<laughs> you light up my life. This light is the light you should probably consider if you're looking to upgrade your lighting for any photography or videography. What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why you should consider buying the Lytra Pro, especially if you're gonna do anything outside or be on the mobile photography videography kick, as well as if you're trying to upgrade your studio equipment. A big thanks to our friends over at Lytra for sending this over and providing the lighting that you're seeing here on screen today. Uh, I have been looking at Lytra lights for a long time, really wanting to upgrade the studio. So I wanna show you how I use it here in studio how I use it with some of the nighttime stuff that I do, as well as what you could expect if you use it outside and inside. So a little bit of technical specs about the light itself. It is called a bi-color LED system, which means you can get basically 3000 Kelvin, a much more warm, vibrant tone, almost orangey to uh, an extent, all the way up to 6000 Kelvin, which is more white, kind of what you would expect uh, if you're outside or something of that nature. Basically, if you're outside and the sun is shining, it's much more bright like that. So with the ability to go from 3000 Kelvin to 6000 Kelvin, you can tend to match exactly what your subject's uh, skin tone is, which is incredible. So for those folks that might be a little bit more white, then you wanna kind of bring those tones down. You have the ability to change the light again from 3000 Kelvin all the way to 6000 Kelvin. You can see some of the shots right here on screen exactly what that what that means, especially if you're looking at the Baymax, you can see the different color tones that show up on screen. So that talks about the color aspect. Let's talk about how bright this thing gets. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like if I am filming just in my car, just for the sake of complete pitch darkness. So let me show you what the car looks like. So what I have right now is just the accessory light on in the Jeep. Let me turn that off. And now the only light that I have on is a little light over there by the garage. You can kind of see that I am not lit up at all. So now let's turn this on. Now this does have a do holy light. Oh, that is bright. Uh, okay, so the light that is on right now is the Lytra Pro. Oh my God, that is so bright. Now let me check and see exactly how bright this is. Okay, I have this on 4200 Kelvin, um, which is a little bit more than just like the, the tungsten type view. Man, is it bright. And this is 20%. So the idea it's giving me this much light and I only have it at 20%. I could probably go down to where it's not so much hateful. But again, let's turn it off. This is what the light is like. You can pretty much hear me and probably see some of my glasses. You can see some lights over this one shoulder. You can see my hand waving. And now this is the 20% at 4,200 Kelvin with a diffuser on it. Woo! So you can see it makes a tremendous difference when you are recording in the nighttime. So I absolutely love recording with this thing in the dark. You can see that even at 20%, which is gonna give you battery life significantly more than the 10 hours, uh, you're gonna get a long, long life out of this particular thing. So if you do anything in the night at all, you should really consider getting a Lytra Pro. So that was filmed basically completely in the dark, just using an iPhone 11 Pro Max. So you can see that lit up my face more than enough for it to be usable, especially at nighttime. So at nighttime perspective, this thing is gonna be incredible. Now at full 100%, it is basically as bright as the sun. I'm literally like staring directly into the sun. I have not yet found a whole reason why I would ever utilize it at 100%. Even with using some of their accessories like the soft box that you can see on screen or some of the diffusers, I still had no reason to have the brightness at 100%. I'm sure that I might not necessarily be using it in its fullest capacity, but again, for what I'm doing, which is light photography, light videography, outside stuff, and then lighting up my studio, I have no reason to actually put it at 100% because it is just that bright. Lytra says on its website and through all the customer guides that if at 100% intensity, you can expect about 45 minutes of straight use. Now, they say if you keep it at about 50% intensity, you're gonna get 10 hours of use. I can completely validate the fact that I haven't really ran out of battery and because I've only charged it once since getting it a few weeks ago, 
I had one mishap where the light went out and it took maybe 30 minutes to completely recharge. It was really, really fast. And then I was back up and running. The other cool thing about this is if you're gonna use it kind of a running gun style and you carry the like a battery pack in your pocket, you can charge this thing while you're using it and it pretty much becomes a no brainer of a studio light always in your pocket where you can carry it around, no problem at all. But from the viewpoint of studio lighting, I've showed you what the nighttime lighting looks like. Let me show you what it looks like without any lights at all and using this as kind of my main studio light. Normally I have two lights on. I have one light off over there just to show you from the sake of what it looks like if I just use the one light. And let me turn this on. This is 5% right now at about 4,200 Kelvin. So you can see this lights up quite a bit of my face and I only have it on about 5%. Now let me come over here and turn up the intensity and you can see that this thing pushes out a ton of light. So the idea is this is gonna be plenty for you. That's too much, I'm gonna back that down as we go all the way down to zero and now 5%. So you can see that this little tiny light can light up your entire studio. If you had another one over here, um, I would have really nice three point lighting that I like, especially like the view of it. But you can see with just one light and 5% at 4200 Kelvin, this is more than enough to make, I guess, me look good on camera. And, and we know that that's really what it's all about. What are some of the things that I like about it? It is pocketable. It is super small, pushes out a ton of light. Um, it's waterproof. So I forgot to mention the fact that I can dunk it in water. So the clip that you see right now, this thing can go underwater up to 30 meters, which is, I don't know, I'm gonna do the math. I think it's like a thousand feet or so. But you get the general gist. If you're gonna do scuba diving or film some things under a moderate amount of water, this thing can hold that. So that's another incredible feature for it. This is the perfect little teammate, especially if you're gonna do vlogging with either your phone um, or a GoPro or even like a small DSLR. The idea that you can throw this on a cold shoe or a hot shoe and then just run and gun with a little, little tiny light that puts out a lot of wattage for you to get everything lit up the way that you need. It is the perfect thing to carry with you in your pocket and it takes up zero space in your bag, especially if you throw it in your camera bag. From my studio perspective, I've cut these giant, uh, I used to have these giant like soft boxes here that just were kind of the knockoff ones that I found on Amazon. I've cut a tremendous amount of space out and now I can move around my studio much, much easier than I ever have before. So I've upgraded my lighting and I've minimized all this wasted space that I had before. So it was a no brainer for me. So what's one of the things that I don't like? I don't like that I don't have a second one. Um, I don't like the fact that they're $219. Not that I think that they're overwhelmingly expensive. It's just that I, I would like to buy a lot of them and spending two, four, six, eight hundred dollars at a time just for a bunch of these lights would really not make uh, my homestead happy. Like I said, they are $219. You can find it on Amazon or B&H right now and I will leave a link in the description below for all of that information. It is a little bit pricey if you're just getting started with upgrading your lights, but I carry this light around with me all the time. So the idea is that I can get so much functionality and I'm not spending uh, like aperture level prices for, you know, six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred thousand dollars for these lights. And it gives me exactly the view that I'm looking to get. You can kind of see that I, I like the way that I'm lit up right now. Some it's more of a preference, but I really like the way that I'm lit up and I have a minimal amount of money into it overall. If you're upgrading your lights, go out and check the Lightra Pro. Again, link in the description, everything below. And that's it, that's all I have. As always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below. We will see you next time. <laughs>